what your favorite guitar companies know about you and share with all their best friends. <laughs> More coming. Stay tuned. Hey, it's Baxter. It's Jonathan. Casino Guitars, thanks for joining us once more on Casino Television. Yeah. So uh, vision. Click, click not... like and subscribe. Hit the bell. And we're just going to get into it. So we're, we're, we're sort of looking at this because we're getting marketed outrageously by all of our favorite guitar makers from, you know, Fenders, Gibsons, Taylors, Martins a little bit, Purse. Uh, <laughs> that, that's what I'm for PRS. PRS. But, no, it's, We're changing and, the way you say it. And so we started looking into all their privacy policies a little bit and like just the other aspects from like their, their tuners, their websites, their apps, and the integration that the manufacturer wants to have in your life to make you buy more guitars. Yep. Or is it to make your life better? Of course it's to make your life better. It's okay, all okay. altruistic. They're just good folks. I... I mean, the scary thing is they are really all good folks. I've met everybody in most of the guitar. Well, there's a few that are kind of snakes in the grass. But um, but no, the guitar companies are obviously there to, A, sell you guitars. Yeah. Make you a lifelong customer. Yes. And then give you happiness. Yes. Along the way, hopefully. And provide you with a good dealer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's why I Mostly. can't wait to watch Crocodile's D -Dun D Dundee 2. When they say it's like the drug battle and stuff, like it's like talking about Dundee one in reverse. When they go, you know, this one they go from New York to the outback to escape the mess. Is that the one where he throws the knife in between the dudes' mohawk? Yes, yes, that's yeah. two. Yeah, okay, yeah. It's, it, which is also it's a great it's a great it's like Ghostbusters one and two, just great masters of art. Well, Ghostbusters one's amazing. Anyway, brilliant. So let's break into these apps a little bit first. Um, the app work is pretty brilliant on both of the. I'm thinking like Fenders and Gibsons. And they're all good. The, yeah, they're all really good. Like Gibson is sort of creating this cool storytelling thing. Fenders creating like an integration in your guitar playing life cycle. Um, they are listening to you. Of That's course. what apps do. They're not just there passive. It's, you know, TikTok listens. I mean, is it fair to say there's no app at this point that doesn't listen? No, it's it's a machine. It's trying to, you know, like if, if you're using a tuner with one of these companies, any of them, they're going to harvest the information a little bit sure. just to learn more about you so they can better service you and sell you more products and that's just the way it works right now and you know we're getting like we were laughing because derek's like i've gotten so many texts from for fender in the past like week or something or or two weeks it just, and it's all about like the sales they have and whatnot right. it's just trying to you know move overbuilt product which hey we get that we respect it they gotta, they gotta move their toys that they built too many of but i mean literally we have a whole video on that if you don't know about it go back and watch our fake channel we talk about these things and then those are the ads that pop up on your tuner. <laughs> oh, that's everything though. That's Facebook. That's Instagram. That's everything. No, and we, just, we've looked at all the privacy policies for every major company too. And it says they don't sell the data, but they use it for other purposes. And, um, and it goes, it's all legalese. We're not smart enough to understand it, but it is a gathering of so they can better service and become part of your musical life, which I kind I get, I respect it. We like to come into your living room and hang out and watch you. Like, I mean, if you click on our video and we're watching this, we now have access to, you know, your everything you say. We're always listening. You're, we're in your, always there. We're watching you through your, your camera. That's why you need to put a little tape on your camera. I just want you to imagine this slowly, the riff to I'll be watching you start playing right now. We can't play that because we can't afford that, and it'll demonetize our video. Because I, I feel like I feel like I'll be watching you from the police. That that was in the '80s, right? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. And that, that's that's Sting's greatest hit. But I would say that arguably the greatest singer of the '80s is Sir Patrick Swayze. Yeah, of the Patrick Swayze Collective. Um, she's she's like the wind. Can we can we top that? No, the, can, the I can do kung fu, can dance the hearts out of women's chests. And writes and performs the greatest song. I, I just like to imagine him singing that as he snatches that dude's throat out. You know, that move. The what a move. what a traumatic end. I know. Like that that like, that's in the end of the movie, right? Of course it is. Like the, like fighting in the river. There's a yeah. Like he rips a dude. Crazy. Oh, that's brutal. I, I wasn't expecting that. You know, you got Jeff Healy jamming out in the bar. Like, ah. I like to imagine that Roadhouse is like the prequel. To uh, the the dancing movie, Dirty Dancing. Yeah, because it's like that's so traumatic. But, him, but, but Dirty Dancing is in the past. Doesn't matter. Maybe Dirty Dancing is a prequel, and that that's his father. Ooh. And then like then like, 
Okay. And that he didn't want to follow his dad's footsteps of being like a, a sissy dancer. <laughs> well, uh, time to learn to be a cooler, boys. <laughs> I forgot he's a cooler. <laughs> he's, I'm the head dancer. Oh, you just, I like when he's explaining his job to everybody, like lines him up the bar. And yeah. Such a good movie. If you haven't seen it, can we just do a whole video talking about Roadhouse? And like, I mean, yes, because I, I, again, like I've said it before, Roadhouse, Red Dawn, and Dirty Dancing might sum up America and um, Top Gun and Days of Thunder. Again, I just I just like to believe they're all in the same universe. But they're it's actually the same. It's, it's the same actor. Like <laughs> Patrick Swayze same. might be one of the most American creations that America's ever made. Does he have the biggest, like, 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 you know, the broadest stroke is acting talent? He can basically do anything. I mean, he's, like, you watch, like, you watch the end of Red Dawn, like, and you're not in tears. I mean, you watch that final dance scene in Dirty Dance, you watch him rip that throat out. Like, I mean, like, it's just, bam. Things, and then you watch him in Ghost, for goodness sake, when he has sex with Demi Moore as Whoopi Goldberg, as Patrick, well, wait. It's very, very it's a little convoluted. So it's a little convoluted there. I don't know what, but it's fine. He's a ghost. It's not a lot. No, me. Whatever. I don't know if I can watch that movie again. That's just that's rough. I anyway, sorry to watch that. Yeah, but so um, anyway, th this ties back in. This that ties nowhere. Um, I'm just tying us back. <laughs> <laughs> so Patrick Swayze ads in our Fender Tuner now. That's what you said. Well, it is no, it is funny because they they listen and they sort of they feed into the rhythm of like, hey, how many times are you using this tuner? Maybe or how many times are you using this app? They judge like if a tuner per, per se will judge how many times you probably need to get your strings changed, and they might send you out notifications like, hey, it's maybe for time for tuna, maybe time for. I get it's pretty smart. I mean, it, it is pretty smart. I mean, I'm not knocking it. Well, you know, we I mean, like we said in the beginning, is it to make your life better or make money or whatever. I mean, I think it can be both, right? Because some of those apps are really handy. Like, I can remember learning to play guitar before phones and smartphones, and it was a pain to have that little cord or whatever, that little boss tuner. Yes. <laughs> I mean, you didn't have it in your pocket all the time, you know what I mean? That was a pain. Yeah, I do carry a clip-on tuner a lot in my pocket just because I don't like the app tuners. But well, they're, they're small now, so that's okay. But I'm just saying, it's nice to be able to whip out your phone and, and tune your guitar record an idea right like that's all in the apps i mean some of them have multi-track recorders and the little well, we are it's crazy in our core conspiracy theorists most likely well of course i like to think i wasn't but apparently i am no, all my the more i think and talk and obviously these these companies have plans for us all <laughs> and they i mean we've seen it with like gibson's had us like ups and downs and ups and downs like a lot with like um, we're gonna be the lifestyle brand we're gonna take over this way we're gonna have computers and all of our guitars we're gonna do this and that and then and we're just going to make historic recreations. But now we're going to have this sort of lifestyle branded thing online where we do stories and stuff. I don't know how it's working for him. If it is, I hope so. I think it's probably working for him. Working pretty well. And I mean, that makes some cool like Gibson in particular. You know, Fenders is more like utility things I use all the time, like the tuner and yes. that kind of stuff. Gibson is like, oh, we're going to go through all Joe Perry's guitars. We're going to take you through all Slash's collection. We're going to go through Mike Campbell's Gibson yes. guitar collection. That's pretty cool. I mean, honestly. Yeah, my uh, one of my favorites on that was when I think it was Agnes was going through Dweezil Zappa stuff, yeah. and that was a cool one. And they got to the one where Echo Park also did the the half fretless guitar or something like oh, yeah. like one of right. one of Gibson. It was just, it was just cool seeing all that stuff. Like, well, all these these universes connect and they're all in, they're all inbred. It's um, it's a tricky, it's a fine line. Like, cause you cause there's there is marketing. Like, we have marketing with casino guitars. And it's not, it's not, but we don't utilize a lot of it sort of purposefully because I don't want to annoy folks. That's true. But it does work. If you read out as a like customer retention type of programs, if we reach out and sort of talk to you, it will inspire you to trigger you to buy another piece. Yeah. It's just, I, I know it's like, it was far as like, I just don't want to bother you. I just don't want to leave you alone. It is a weird thing, you know, as like your convenience versus your privacy versus the annoyance factor it, it it's a strange balance i feel like oddly enough sweetwater has kind of figured it out they have a good balance because i i rarely hear anyone say they're annoyed with the sweetwater guy but they do regularly call it, i i've heard it recently a lot just like because they have to follow up with every product you buy and if it's a pack <laughs> of pigs how do how, you yeah. How to use your new product? They they do always send that thing, and it's kind of funny. It's a little funny, but I get it. But they 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 it's a brilliant machine, and we respect them yeah. outrageously for what they've done and 
they're one of the best in the industry. Yeah. Obviously, it's just um, just you know, it's just it's just neat to watch how you know, I, I don't want to think of these companies as Big Brother ever because I know everyone that works in them, and they are like normal, cool people. Then sometimes when things happen within the industry or within those manufacturers' decisions where mistakes have happened, I get I get a little bit cautious when I see like tons of things coming out from my favorite, you know, from Gibsons and Fenders and Purse and Taylors and Martins and the major corporate changes. I mean, good, bad, or indifferent. I don't think anybody should be shocked at a corporation using like the most modern tools available marketing. And that's just that's just what it is right now for everything. Yeah. From toilet paper to what deodorant you use to what picks you're using to God, when we met that one, he's a guy that came in the shop. He um he 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 does virtual reality training things for the toilet paper manufacturing businesses. I was like, that's so cool that that's a thing. Like, that made me so happy. I'm um, trying to imagine what that entails, but oh, that's my con too. Because um, I have to talk about our one of our one of our corporate sponsors for today, Strasburg Dentistry. Um, if you, if you want it, if you want it done well, call someone else. Is what they usually say. That's what that that well, that was one of their things. Just kidding. They say just call us, and we can get it done for you eventually. <laughs> Strasburg Dentistry. I just really love your smiles. Mouth. Keep coming. <laughs> so actually, they're really nice dental practices. I, I met the guy though; he was really cool. He's like a really good looking dude for a dentist too. Like not only okay. they, they can actually all dentists and men are pretty attractive. I met the guy, came to the shop, uh, really nice dude. You know, I won't say names because I don't want to get him in trouble with his partners, but they're gonna know who it was. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> where is this place again? Tell me where that is. Where where are we? Uh, Strasburg, Pennsylvania, PA. That's all I need to know. Yeah, so it's um, it's, it's the it's. The land of lovers is yeah. what Pennsylvania is known as. Okay. But he'll make your teeth beautiful and pretty. And um, but I think I think he he's been working for a long time making. He's a cool guy. He was nice. He was a guitar nut, and I enjoyed meeting him. There you go. So that's our corporate response for the day. Help us all. Um, I I think that's about all I got right now. That's probably you got anything else, Derek? You got anything you want to add? Derek's shaking his head. He's like, no. He's like, wrapping up. Rap, and he says, keep going another ten minutes, guys. guys. You got it. all those jewels of information you're sharing. <laughs> with the world i think that's it so thanks again for joining us peace be with you all enjoy your music enjoy the corporate big brother washing over our shoulders just ignore them that's what we do you know yeah. keep playing guitars support your independent shops support your retailers all across is this guitar center it's a good one support them too sure they need all the help they can get right now that's probably true so they support your team there and thank the cats working there that are working their tails off when there's like one guy there the manager most likely and 13 customers and you can't get your time just to be patient it's not his fault or her fault it must be his that's it